In this video, I'll be starting off with the Arduino SOS, but we're going to be making some modifications. So if you need that, I have the code posted in Classroom. I also have the Arduino sketch attached to the previous video. I'd watch that video first, and that will get you started with this. So I will be posting solutions along with videos. So we left off with our SOS working happily, but using really big blocks of code that are repetitive. And if I need to make any changes, I can change the durations really easily, but I can't change the number of times very easily. And I had to write this code by copying and pasting a bunch, which is never really a great solution. If I can reduce the number of times I copy and paste, it's usually a better solution. So what I want to do is I really want to use what's called a for loop. This is a big loop that loops all this code, but a for loop would be an inner loop that lets the code execute a few times without having to copy and paste. And it's a little more complicated than C than in Java than other languages, than like Python, but it's not too bad. The first thing we're gonna do is use the word for. And that's going to be like, do this for this many iterations or this many times. And we're gonna make a counter. So int, I'm gonna call this count equals zero, because programmers like to start counting with zero. Zero is the first number. So our first 10 numbers are zero through nine. That counter is going to be go up to three. We don't have to go include three because it was zero, one, two. And it's going to increment three times, increment each time using plus plus, sort of add on to ones. And we'll open a swirly bracket, just like this swirly bracket, except this swirly bracket is only going to wrap around these two, these four steps. And all this stuff can go away. Now, we are going to copy and paste, and there's probably a better way to avoid this, but this will still be good enough right now. So I'm going to copy this whole chunk of code, replace this, and replace this. And the only thing I have to add now is I need to change this delay S, to delay L. Now, the code should still work, but it's much shorter and much easier to read. 